Is it a PC? Or a drawing pad? Or a tablet? The answer is, it's all of them in one device. This is Huawei's MatePad Pro 12.2 inch 2025. And I say 2025 because this is the newer model. The 2024 version came first, but this time Huawei is calling it a PC level experience. Basically a flagship tablet that has a stylus embedded keyboard, shortcut keys, live multitask, PC level WPS office. So it's meant to run like a PC, but in a tablet form. But does it hold up? Here's what we found. First off, the stylus comes with the tablet and it stores magnetically inside the keyboard. I lose things all the time so a hidden slot like this? Smart! It snaps in, charges a full battery in an hour and because Huawei uses Nearlink tech, your keyboard, pen and tablet connects pretty seamlessly. The Huawei M Pencil itself feels solid but balanced and has that premium feel too. I like that the keyboard is not an afterthought either because you are getting the full size keys. Huawei Glide keyboard to switch between PC form or drawing pad form. A built-in touchpad and shortcut keys. So, what do they mean when it's PC level within the tablet itself? Real productivity stuff. It comes with PC level WPS so you get Excel, PowerPoint and Word with a PC level interface instead of the mobile interface. And you can do live multitasking by running three apps at once. Let's say I'm on a video call while googling something and writing on the Huawei Notes app. All side by side. I can. Some days when you need a bigger screen, you can just connect the tablet to a monitor for desktop style mirroring. But the fact that you can unzip large files too is great for file management. Now, let's talk about the display. The Huawei MatePad Pro 2025 has a 12.2 inch tandem OLED paper matte display with a paper matte finish. Feels like real paper if you're sketching or writing, but has that dual layer OLED pop. There's no glare or flicker, and it says your eyes won't strain even in long hours. It hits 2000 nits peak brightness, three times the lifespan of single layer OLEDs with 33% lower energy consumption, and has a 92% screen to body ratio, super thin bezels. And Huawei Notes has gotten a huge upgrade too, and it's not just an app update. It works hand in hand with the new Huawei M Pencil, the third gen, which supports over 10,000 pressure levels and ultra low latency thanks to the Nearlink tech. So when you're writing on a tablet, it actually feels like pen on paper. You also get AI handwriting enhancement to neaten up messy writing, plus tools like a magnifier for fine detail and a lasso tool to resize or recolor. There are new templates, stickers, and brush presets. And if you want more, just head to the resource center to download extras. And when you're done, just export to PDF. If you're into drawing or animation, GoPaint makes this a digital studio. It's got frame-by-frame -frame animation tools, a 3D oil brush that builds texture, which is a new feature on GoPaint, by the way, and cool extras like splatter and fluid brushes. You can even work on an 8K canvas with realistic strokes. They look and feel satisfying. So overall, just look at it. This green finish is inspired by silk made with multiple optical layers so it subtly shimmers in the light. It weighs just under 1 kg, charges fully in under an hour, and runs on a 10,100 mAh battery that could at least last you a full day of heavy use. All for 3,599 ringgit. It's an all-in-one work PC that's perfect for professionals, and you can switch it back to a drawing pad, and then when you're done with that, you can switch it back to a tablet. Honestly, it's a seriously compelling tablet. So, what do you think? Could this tablet replace your laptop? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.